Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Oh, hi there, buddy. Well, today, yes, a lot of you have been asking today, it's Fred's last day at home. Look at him, he knows, he knows. I'm gonna miss him. Y'all have been asking for the dog training videos. They're on their way, believe me. But today we're headed to Jordan's farm to do some farm hunting, some pest control. And I really need to let you all know, today's video is sponsored by ShotCam, y'all. Yes, ShotCam is the camera, the gun camera I use. Yep, this one right here, this bad boy. The gun camera I use for all my hunting, all my shotgun shooting. A lot of you are always asking about it. Well, there she is. ShotCam is doing a Father's Day sale the 12th through the 22nd, and they're doing $100 off a shot cam. How awesome is that? The regular $649 during the sale, the 12th through the 22nd, the price is only $549. So on top of that, they're throwing in a dope hat as well. Big shout out to Shot Cam for sponsoring this video. A lot of you love the dope content that this shot cam brings. A lot of you have been telling me that you want to pick one up. Well, guys, don't wait. This is the time. Father's Day sale. Shot cam, 100 bucks off. Don't miss it. If you want to pick up a shot cam, I will link all of the information down in the description below. Again, huge shout out for shot cam sponsoring this video. They have become a wonderful partner here on the channel. They're always helping me out, supporting me. Even when YouTube don't like the hunting videos, they do. But, like I said, uh, be expecting some awesome dog training videos from Frederick. He's got a lot to learn, and y'all are going to be there right with us. But we're going to head out to the farm. No, Fred's not going. He would get trampled by the cows. The cows always think he's a coyote. Ooh, nice new cheap truck. I bear gifts. I bear gifts. Here, here. Dude, I've been eating one of these so bad. Right? Isn't Mine she pretty? Is rough and she's a little bit warm right now. I'm yeah, it's a little warm for both of them, but you never know. Old, uh, old Jordan's new rig here. I'm telling you, dude, thousand dollar truck. I need a hunting wagon because my old Ram over there, she's not too old. That, that's an old one. That's a, that's my new one. And it just, man, she's getting beat up. She's getting beat up. She's starting to like squeak in places I don't want her to squeak. And I'm starting to hear noises that concern me. So it's telling me, man, I need a hunting rig, dude. X you, Game Warden truck. X Game Warden, yep. uh, yeah. yeah he, so X Game Warden's truck, dude. Yeah, it, the guy that I bought it from, he actually got it straight from the lot where they traded in at. Yeah. And so it had the decal, you know where it said Game Warden? Oh. Well, so when they ripped those off, everything would get dusty except for those letters. Oh, you can tell, you can kind of see them. They, it, Pretty Very much gone faintly. out, but it's there a little bit. Man, if y'all think I need to get me just a good old hunting wagon with that I can beat up, give me some recommendations. What what should I be looking for? I'm thinking an old F-150, an old Silverado. I'm thinking a, an old Silverado. That'd be awesome. I'd like, what I like to extended cab, four wheel drive. This one dropped in my lap, otherwise, I mean, I wasn't looking for it, but hey, if Dude. it shows up, I'm doing it thousand bucks but anyways we are at the farm today y'all have been telling me dude you got to get back to the farm with jordan uh you need to do some challenges today i don't know if we're gonna do any challenges there's a lot of juvenile starlings here and just like juvie snow geese that means they're stupid and i mean they just like to fly low and easy to shoot you can say i think we'll shoot a quite a bit i mean just driving around there's an abundance there's a ton of them around it's just if they stick around right so that's the plan today uh we're gonna go pocket full of shells that's what i have i have a pocket full of ch shells actually i wore my dad jorts today and i fit i fit a whole box in there so <laughs> i'm just gonna say that i am going to spray and pray today jordan's got his tube on federal ammo with the shot cam oh well, here it is. I brought out the Franke. I am not messing around today. We got the tube on her, got the shot cam ready to roll. <sighs> Feels good to be on the farm. It really does. So, uh, mission today, pest control. Oh gosh. Darn it, hold on. Get him. Nice shot. Oh, I didn't turn my shot cam on. Oh darn it, no Dang shot it. cam footy. Hey, at least you smoked him. I wasn't ready, I've been yapping. Good shot though, really good shot. 
Well, I put the I'm, we're, we gotta go. If y'all are glad, I'm back here at the farm with my boy Jordan, the old bearded mate himself. God, look at that thing. That is a poop chucking machine, isn't it? Oh yeah, dude, that thing. Yeah, it spreads it evenly. Oh man, you imagine going through that bad boy? <laughs> imagine going past someone with that. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, just spraying the heck out of him. All right, let's roll. But if you're glad I'm here, smash the thumbs up button. If you want me to do more farm hunts with Jordan, smash the thumbs up button. You gotta let me know. Ooh, I got a feeling, I got a feeling. Oh, this is nice being back on the farm with my old girl, old Franky girl. A lot of you have been asking, Bobby, uh, this is my first year of duck hunting or dove hunting. What gun do you prefer? Uh, Y'all know that I have a Rite, I got a Franke, I got a Benelli SP3. And I like them all. I have to say so myself. All three are amazing guns. It's hard to choose, but I'll tell you, the one that I can rely on most is this Franke. No, I am not affiliated. No, I am not sponsored by them. Uh, I just love the gun. It's a good one, especially for the price. The price is on point. You can't go wrong with uh, the old Franke Affinity 3. Just to answer the question, there's been a ton of you asking me. My goodness. But long story short, find a good gun. Uh, Franke, you know, Winchester SX3s are really good. All of them are good. Get you a semi-auto though. Get used to a semi-auto, you'll shoot more birds, you'll be more accurate. Yeah, he just smoked one at far. Hey, there's a starling down. That was a long shot. Yeah, it looked like a poke. That I was a poke. I to see something helicopter. <laughs> yeah, first bird down. I gotta find my shell that ejected. Always make sure you clean up them empties, boys and gals. Yeah, that was a poke. That was a poke. Man, there's starlings everywhere. Well, like they say, it only takes one BB. Look at this dude. This is a juvenile starling. That's my first shot. Just a brown juvie. My goodness. Baby. Baby, baby. They like to fly low. They're not the smartest things. <laughs> we'll educate them a little bit, though. Well, if you guys are loving it, liking it, want me to do more of it, you got to tell me. Smash that thumbs up. Let us know. Because we want to get back out here and get at it. If they want to see the cow blind, Ooh. we can bring out the cow blind. We can do some fun. homemade starling decoys. Let us know. Well, I think the one you shot... She's a goner in the secondary poop pond. Oh, yeah, that's a bad one. Ed, don't be scared. Ooh, we got some joiners. Ooh, we could shoot them, right? Sweet. Would have helped if you would have shot the one I was looking at. <laughs> I know there was a right and a left, but I just put on the first one and I killed the second. Oh, I was shooting at the other one. So I was like, oh, what? oh, goodness. Nothing. I just let her rain. You know, what else are you going to do in that situation? Well, I'm trying to find my second bird out here. This is a bunch of cow poop manure. Uh, I can't find him. He's over there somewhere. I just dropped another one out there. I hopefully got it on the shot cam. If I did, you guys gotta let me know, or I guess I'll already know. <laughs> Boy, howdy, they're everywhere, dude. Still trying to find my second bird. It's hard to find out here. They're real hard to find. They blend in with these black holes really, really well. But I did find my last bird. Heck yes, I got two in my pocket. Still trying to find my second one I downed with all this poop and nastiness oh nice shot with all this poop i don't know if i'm gonna be able to find the second one three birds down though three birds well there we go found it it was in a hole another juvenile they're all this grayish color really young birds babies actually and they're not very smart they like to fly low but coming out here enough just like jordan said earlier uh they'll get learned up you know, a normal starling, they're jet black when they're an adult. There's some right here. 
Ooh, come on, keep coming. Oh, he was dipping and diving on me, son. Coming your way. Ah, dude, that is, he's a cat. He's got more than, he got one, two, three lives. My goodness. If you keep shooting, it keeps getting them up and making them fly around. But I have no luck, no luck finding that, that last bird I dropped, no clue. So I'm gonna move on. This, starlings are an invasive species, so you can leave them where they lay. Out here on the dairy farm, we're protecting the dairy cows feed keeping these starlings out of the feed bunks so they don't poop in their food constantly because they do bird did oh that guy right there that one nice shot kept waiting for you to shoot nope i was just wanting to film it <laughs> <laughs> oh boy yeah a pair of mallards just came right over this tree and wanted to land in these little Oh, landing over by Jordan now. They're going into that. Yep, they like these little puddles, man. How cool is that? Oh! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, buddy. Nice I had to... <laughs> we are over there. I was like, I should have stayed where I was. I ran over here. There's another. That's a poker. That's a poker stroker. Coming your way. Oh, nice shot. I had to, uh, I was kind of questioning myself for a minute. I was like, man, that don't look like a starling. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. If you don't know, don't pull the trigger. That's my, uh, that's my rule of thumb. I swear, out, of, out in this pasture, they are hard to find. You wouldn't think they would be, but they blend in so well. Uh. Oh, oh, he went down. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Wait, is that water right there? Yeah. Figures. Well, that's six down. Uh, I have not been able to recover. He's in the water. I'm sure one of the cows over there see him drinking. Some of them probably inhaled it already. That's awesome. Six birds down. I'm having fun. Again, if you guys want to see uh, any type of challenges, like a lot of you know, we can do that roulette challenge too, y'all. I think that'd be fun. Between me and Jordan, little 1v1 roulette, that would be fun. Today, we just wanted to get out here. I wanted to get out here and just spray and pray, to be honest. I want to see how many we could shoot. It's going good. I got six down. I'm sure Jordan has six down, but they're hard to find. Smash that thumbs up button for Jordan and I. Y'all have been requesting that we get out here again. We're doing it. It's fun. It's a good time of year. We've had to wait for these juvies to come into the mix via spring you know what i'm saying <laughs> over here feeding the cats feeding the cats the starlings i guess they like them this this guy want one there you go buddy uh maybe not she obviously likes them that's birder huh that's birder old birder and she'll come running old farm cat that likes to uh that has a diet full of starling thanks to jordan hey. <laughs> Brian shoots a ton of that tree, like two or three a day. Oh, I bet he does. They're there all the time. That's the main tree right there above their house. So you can imagine Brian, the owner of the dairy farm, sits on the porch and shoots them. Well, what'd you kill? Eight? Eight. Eight. I'm happy with eight. We're only out here for what? Hour? Yep. Something like that. I killed six. Only recovered three. I only recovered six. Did you? I lost two. But look at his backup shell he had in at the end of his tube. Whoops. It's only a three inch four. <laughs> he, he, he came to kill everything today. <laughs> but not a bad hunt, not at all. Uh, can't complain. That was a good shoot. Lots of little juvenile starlings running around. Little brown babies. They're almost golden, some of them. 
If you guys have never starling hunted, you could do it anywhere. It doesn't have to just be a dairy. Uh, it can be a field. It can be your backyard as long as you're out of city limits. Uh, it can be anywhere. Just be able to identify them before you shoot them. Unless you're in the UK, then they're protected. Oh, in the UK, you can't shoot starlings. So I've heard different that. different regulations everywhere. Check your local right, ones. Right, right. Just because we can in Kansas does not mean you can everywhere. Right. Just like in Kansas, you can't use uh, infrared scopes. You can't use lights at night to kill coyotes. You can't do a lot of things. You can't even kill a pigeon on a moving golf cart. Or with a black powder. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to do it. That <laughs> is... That is the craziest law I have ever heard. I can poison them, but I can't use a black powder shotgun. Yeah, you can poison them so they'll fly them. off and poison and infect other things. Or maybe we'll shoot one and eat one that's been poisoned. But you can't shoot one with black powder. Mm -hmm. You can catch them at night, but you can't use a light. Still can't use black powder. Nope. <laughs> oh, Freddy. I love you, buddy. I love you, buddy. Well, back here at the house and uh, old Frederick, I'm going to miss him. Last day together is today. I'm going to miss you, buddy. I'm going to miss you. Now, a lot of you have been asking, Bob, what are you doing with Frederick? Where is he going? Look, he's not going away for good. He's just going to school. Fred's going to training, something he's needed for a long time. We're going to get two main things done, force fetch, and we're going to get his shopping fixed and we're gonna get his braking fixed. But like I mentioned to you guys earlier, huge, huge, huge shout out to Shock Cam for sponsoring this video, y'all. Like I said earlier, y'all have been asking for a while, Bob, what camera are you using on your gun? How do you get that dope gun footage? This is how, y'all, the Shock Cam. Check it out. Right now they're doing a Father's Day sale, the 12th through the 22nd, hundred dollars off a camera do not miss this sale plus they're throwing in a dope free hat as well all my duck hunters all my goose hunters all my wing shooters all my shotgun slingers pick you one up while you have this good discount i'm telling you it's not gonna last i will link all the information about the shot cam down in the description below like i said this sale only lasts the 12th through the 22nd all my dads out there go pick you one up all my wife's out there Go pick your husband one up. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun on the farm. Uh, it's been a little while since I've slung the old shotgun around. It was a bunch of fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed the shot cam footage as well. I always do. Huge shout out to Jordan for inviting me out to the old dairy farm. It's always a blast, literally. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because it'll notify you when your boy uploads. Thank you guys for being here. This off season has been a little rough on me. It seems like the views are kind of trickling back. I hope I'm keeping you guys entertained on this off season. If there's any videos that y'all want to see that I'm not doing, let me know down in the comment section. Any type of hunts, any type of how-to videos, let me know. But until next time, peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism. Pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl.